Okay, hello dear friends. So today we are going to try some new teas. And uh, this one is Lao Shan Lu Cha. I will explain a little bit in detail a bit later. So first let's open it up and take a look at this beautiful tea. Can you see it clearly? So I will pour it out to begin with. It's a green tea, Lao Shan green tea. And I will use my ceramic spoon. Uh oh, long time no see our little spoon container, right? We will use this ceramic one. Okay, um, <clears throat> we do not need a lot, just a few leaves of them. So let me first uh, put it in just a little bit. We want it so, 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 so light. I think this is good. See, only this little bit. Only very, very, very limited amount. That should be good. Water. Maybe a teeny, tiny little bit more. Okay. Rinse a little bit. Oh, it smells so good. It smells the bitterness of tea. I love it. The first rinse is to wash it. We are not so um, so complicated and so delicate as other. Uh, tea ceremony. It's just uh, that should be sufficient. So let's put the camera down and we will see how the tea leaves more. Okay, should be good. Use a white background will be good. Yeah, white will be good. Now we will zoom in the TV. Isn't it fascinating to see it moves? Isn't it fascinating, right? It's because the, um, the leaf start to absorb water and uh, so it start to, to stretch out. It was rolled, it was dried, now it get um, rehydro, hydro, hydrate dehydrated dehydrated it used to be dehydrated and now rehydrated so it gains its life again so this is how the tea looks like we can cover it with the lid can take a look with the lid on top
So now we will start to talk about this tea. This tea is called, <clears throat> I'm sorry for the noise, we are outside, we are outside in the backyard, see the bright sunshine and the, and the canvas not canvas, the, the easel, it's really good, I feel good, life is good. So <coughs> this tea, <coughs> sorry, so we will take a look at uh, the tea. I have three kinds of these green teas and I think they are really good and deserve your, your, your attention, deserve your, your, your tasty. We will start. I think this is good. We will move it a little bit. How do I move it? Just a little bit further. You can see what I do. I will just do like this. This way, the tea is having some movements, right? And uh, <clears throat> let's take a look at the packaging. This is the packaging of this particular tea, specific tea. It's very light color. I will use a, a white tea um, a ceramic uh, cup. For you to see so this is the tea container and the name is ya qu ya is elegant qu is interest and particular um, hobby interest and likeness or passion lao shan lu cha lao shan lao shan is in north of china Usually tea are from south of China and uh, this is the knowledge I got from uh, from Chinese Wikipedia, Chinese uh, uh, Baidu, Chinese Baidu and uh, got some of this knowledge so I would like to share with you. I need to use my computer so <clears throat> In China, tea started thousands of years ago, but uh, tea mostly coming from north of China and uh, south of China. And this place is in Qingdao. Laoshan is very close to Qingdao, and uh, it's in a coastal area, and uh, it's humid. Uh, what do I say? A little bit like Vancouver, I, I feel. The, um, the altitude is relatively high, not altitude, it is quite north, it's not in the equator or meridian, or maybe meridian, it's not in, near the equator, it's in the north, but even with, uh, even if it, even though it is close to the north, but it's uh, in a small environment that close to the 
to the ocean and with the seasonal wind it is always humid like Vancouver like uh, like the other island near Vancouver it's always humid not extremely cold not extremely hot and the weather was good for tea uh, plantation so the people started people from Qingdao started to to think about okay let's start bringing tea into our city so they started this in 1950 so it's not very long right i i, I clicked uh, uh, baidu a chinese um, dictionary and found this so at the very first they have uh, uh, imported not import they have uh, uh, borrowed or bought from south of china zhejiang province from south of china 500 seed plant or small baby plants to to the city to this place see the color is so light and uh, the first year they were not experienced and uh, they planted and then everything totally died all 500 seeds died and then the next year they tried uh, 5,000 or, or 10,000 seeds again, little plants again. Still it was not good. So from 1950-59 around that time, I'm sorry for the background noise, they have experienced, they have tried, but never made it really make it big. There were a, a few uh, tea trees survived but never in a good uh, uh, a good result and uh, they just kept trying and uh, until 1970s tried again not very successful 80s not very successful until 1990s so it's about uh, 20 or 30, 30, 20 years ago, they start to be serious about it and uh, they had training and, uh, and uh, bringing the expertise, experts, tea plant, tea plantation experts and um, finally make it into a real production. And now it is uh, a special kind of green tea. This is green tea and it's a special kind because the weather is relatively colder than south of China. And, uh, and um, the other condition was quite good. They have uh, uh, winter not extremely cold. It's below zero. It's a freezing temperature but not too cold. And in summertime, because it's close to the ocean and never been too, too, too hot, so always humid, which is good for tea plantation. And always in this uh, foggy and humid environment, which is uh, perfect for tea growing. And uh, the, 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 the soil is also just perfect. The pH degree is between 4.5 to 6.5, a little teeny tiny little bit of uh, acid. So this kind of uh, uh, soil condition is also good for the, for the tea growing. So they have, oh, this is so good, such a pleasure to drink it. So <clears throat> if I just to drink it, I cannot see the difference just by itself. Maybe if I drink the other, such as this Anji or other tea together with South of China tea, I can, I can feel the, the difference. But uh, seems it's a little bit more on this, um, on this uh, solid side. It has uh, uh, a less tender, soft. It's, m it's, m it's more of a character. Um, 
I cannot say it's it, it definitely is not robust. It's not uh, too strong and uh, and not elegant. It's elegant, but it has an internal strength. And the tea leaf is also different from uh, from south of China tea leaf. The leaf is relatively thicker. And usually when we see the, the tea leaf from south of China, Longjing tea or other tea, they are much uh, thinner, the leaf. And this leaf seems uh, heavier. And maybe because the temperature is relatively, relatively cold, so the, the tea takes longer time to grow. And, uh, and uh, as a self-defense mechanism, it grows uh, thicker, the leaf. So, <clears throat> another thing about uh, how to make this, uh, this tea, uh, the tea. Tea, some teas are very thin and flat. Some tea are, are rolled. This particular one is rolled. So, the the the, <clears throat> the farmers or tea planters pick up the tea leaf pick up the tea leaf not just uh, let's say let me show you how to pick up the tea leaf okay we have a branch such as this branch they do not hold it this way no that is not the way to pick up a tea leaf this is a leaf you use your finger to psh, very lightly gently pick up the leaf and then put into a basket because you cannot put into plastic right it needs to be moist and it needs to 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 have this ventilation and the tea leaf was picked up in the morning in the afternoon, it will be too hot and uh, in too much sunshine, it's not good for the tea, for the development of the tea. And it could not be raining day, raining day not picking up. Only in, in the morning, in the normal day, pick it up and then uh, spread it around, uh, put into a basket bamboo basket or, or, or weed or wood basket, any kind of natural basket, let it dry, heat it up, and the heating is, the, is, a, mixed, is a very delicate process. If you heat it too quick, then the leaf will become, um, will become, uh, um, become red because it's toasted. If you heat it too low temperature, the leaf will become yellowish because it's dried up. Anyway, uh, to make it to make it into such a, such a beautiful, just a perfect condition, needs a lot of time and uh, and expertise to work on it. So, this is a wonderful tea. I love it. I love it. It's a beautiful tea. It's very, very enjoyable. So I have these three kinds of tea. This is green tea and anji. This one is bai cha, white tea. Now I have three kinds of tea that I can offer. Okay. Green tea, which we are drinking. See the color, so pale. And it has a strength. And uh, just a good, just good. Just such a, a pleasant, a pleasant uh, experience. You can keep on drinking second steeping, third steeping, fourth steeping. Once the bitterness is washed out, 
the sweetness and sourness from the from the leaf will come up. It's uh, one of the best. Tea is always the best at its second or third steeping. The first is just uh, um, it's too robust. It's too strong flavor, and uh, you are not. Uh, you are not enjoying the true tea flavor. And uh, after third, fourth, it becomes uh, a little bit too pale. And uh, also your, your tongue is, uh, is accustomed to tea and got spoiled with tea. Then becoming lighter will, will just uh, not stimulate your, you, your, your tongue enough. So second or third should be the best one. We are still in the first period, first uh, uh, steeping. So this tea, this tea. So I have three green tea, oolong tea. You have uh, you have seen also Tie Guan Yin very light oolong tea. It's not those uh, uh, heavy tea. I have some uh, poor, but uh, still I am not very good at poor. It's uh, it's just uh, so dark. From time to time, I I would like it. Maybe one afternoon, uh, just uh, very tired and. Uh, and need some energy booster, then I drink uh, poor. But otherwise, those teas are quite good. This tea, the green tea, good for the morning, when your, your body is just waking up and need nothing but something light and uh, refreshing, it's good. And the white tea also could be in the morning or or in the in the afternoon because it's light. It's it does not have that much caffeine. And the oolong tea, if I drink, I would say something like in the in the noon time because you need some stronger stimulates stimul stimulates. Stimula, stimul, I don't know, stimulant. You need some stronger stronger things, truc. You need some stronger masha. <laughs> you need some stronger things to stimulate you. And, uh, and also, uh, oolong can help with digest, right? Because uh, with the fat, with uh, the very strong flavor, it can it can uh, kill the the flavor. And in China, we use tea as uh, same, almost the same as what we use for the American use uh, uh, chewing gum. Uh, you can see some people chew tea because it absorb the the smell the flavor from your tongue if you eat garlic <laughs> onion anyway something that has a stronger flavor or something that has more taste and flavor you can you can eat tea you can chew some tea and it absorb it and um, the way tea is stored, it's better to protect in metal container. If you put into plastic or you put just one layer of paper, it goes with whatever flavor. If you put the tea, I, I saw some shop, I said, that's the most thing that I cannot deal with. You see um, the, the store, they sell bulk things. They sell tea, they sell uh, spice together. Uh, 
how can you put them together? Because the tea will absorb all the flavors, all the smells from other things. Tea is like, um, like a sponge of absorbing things. If your refrigerator is not, um, uh, is not smelling good, you put some grind coffee, right? And also you can put some, gr some, some tea, uh, fresh tea or used tea or recycled tea, whatever. You can use those to absorb. So if um, so, the store that sell tea and spice together, those are the people who do not drink tea. It does not have enough respect for tea. <gasps> I'm sorry. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell the spice store that I said that. If you have tea, respect it by putting it separate from your spice. If you have a pantry space, put it further away from garlic powder, onion powder, uh, uh, celery salt, and um, five spice. Put it away from, from it and put into a metal container and very well um, protect it. If you can seal it, seal it. Yeah. If you cannot seal it, when it is opened up, uh, use the sealer and uh, use some bands, bands pin or bands and seal it. Anyway, so are we, we are almost running out of time. So this is the beautiful tea. See, after so long time, it's still so light. I love it. I love it. Enjoy. Bye bye, my friends. I love you. I really do 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 do. I will take a picture now. So these three teas could be yours.